In a surprise unveiling that left Jaws on the floor, Ford CEO Jim Farley introduced an all-inspiring new supercar aimed squarely at the luxury segment dominated by brands like Ferrari, Lamborghini, and McLaren. The announcement, made during a meticulously choreographed event, marked an ambitious push by the American automaker to redefine the boundaries of its capabilities and to challenge the status quo of luxury high-performance vehicles, dubbed the Ford Hyperion. The car aims to be a game-changer in an industry segment not traditionally associated with Ford. With this audacious move, Jim Farley has sent a loud and clear message. Ford is not confined to its traditional role of mass-producing reliable, affordable cars and trucks. It has the technological prowess, design ingenuity, and vision to go head-to-head -head with the most luxurious supercars on the market. It's a bold strategy and one that could potentially reshake the supercar landscape. As Farley detailed the Hyperion specifications, it became evident that the car wasn't just about looks, it was a technical marvel. Featuring a hybrid V8 engine coupled with advanced electric motors, the Hyperion promises a staggering 1,100 horsepower. With a 0 to 16 of time of just 2.2 seconds and a top speed of 250 miles per hour, it has performance figures that can embarrass even the most celebrated supercars. Ford has integrated cutting-edge technologies such as active aerodynamics, carbon fiber construction, and adaptive suspension. The supercar also boasts an array of driver assistance systems, making it as intelligent as it is fast. Advanced materials used in the construction not only contribute to its astonishing speed, but also make it one of the most fuel-efficient vehicles in its class, a feature generally not associated with supercars. Farley emphasized that the Hyperion is designed not just for the racetrack, but for real-world driving conditions. The supercar is furnished with a luxurious interior featuring the finest leathers, cutting-edge infotainment systems, and an unprecedented level of customization options. Furthermore, despite its supercar status, it offers a reasonable amount of cargo space, making it a practical choice for those who want an exotic car that they can use daily. The announcement left industry experts pondering the long-term business implications. While Ford has always been a force to reckon with in the automotive sector, it has never ventured so ambitiously into the luxury supercar market. This move is not just a shot across the bow of luxury car makers, it's a full frontal assault. If successful, the Hyperion could bring in substantial profits, given the high margins in the luxury segment. But more than that, it could redefine Ford as a brand capable of producing not just mass-market vehicles but also exclusive high-performance machines. It's a gamble, but if it pays off, it could be a watershed moment for the American automaker, attracting a new demographic of wealthy, performance-hungry consumers to the brand. But challenges remain. Breaking into the luxury supercar segment is not just about horsepower and looks. It's about pedigree, brand allure, and a history of high performance. Brands like Ferrari and Lamborghini have a story history that's deeply embedded in the world of motor racing and luxury. Convincing consumers to opt for a Ford over these established brands will be an uphill battle. Moreover, developing and manufacturing a supercar is a costly endeavor. Ford will have to invest not just in technology but also in marketing brand development, and perhaps most importantly, in building a network of after-sales services that can meet the high expectations of luxury car owners. Part of what makes luxury supercar brands so aspirational is their legacy, the stories, the characters, and the historic milestones that have made them legendary. Ferrari has Enzo Ferrari, the 250 GTO, and a long history in Formula One. Lamborghini has Ferruccio Lamborghini, the Mura, and a reputation for audacious design. These are not merely brands, they are mythologies unto themselves. Breaking into this market means Ford has to tell a compelling story around the Hyperion. Fortunately, Ford isn't a newcomer in automotive storytelling. The Ford GT's historic win over Ferrari at the 1966 Le Mans has already been immortalized in film, and the Mustang is arguably one of the most iconic American cars ever made. Yet, the company needs to carefully curate the Hyperion's narrative, starting from its launch, to align with or even transcend the legacy stories that have made other supercar brands so appealing. Traditional Ford marketing strategies may not cut it for the Hyperion. This is a niche market, and it requires a niche approach. That means personalized experiences, 
exclusive invitations, private viewings, and perhaps even a bespoke customization experience where customers can work directly with designers and engineers to make their Hyperion truly one of a kind. Moreover, tapping into the world of motorsports, art, and luxury lifestyle collaborations could provide the much-needed catch-it that the Hyperion needs to appeal to this specific clientele. Think Hyperion Editions co-designed with high-end brands, bit watchmakers like Patek Philip, fashion houses like Louis Vuitton, or tech companies like Apple. It's not enough to just sell an extraordinary car, the entire customer journey must be exceptional. The dealership experience should be an extension of the luxury and exclusivity that the Hyperion embodies. We're talking about more than just high-end showrooms. Think along the lines of a personal liaison who's more like a concierge than a salesperson, responsible for guiding the customer through every aspect of ownership. The same high level of service should continue through the entire life cycle of the car. Luxury car ownership comes with high expectations for after-sales service, and this is an area where Ford will need to invest heavily. The company must consider everything from exclusive service centers to mobile mechanics equipped to handle the most intricate technical issues on the spot. While the Hyperion could be a game-changer for Ford, it's also a massive financial gamble. Development costs for supercars can run into the hundreds of millions, and that doesn't include the ancillary costs of marketing, brand development, and service infrastructure. The limited customer base also means that Ford can't rely on volume sales to recoup costs. The company will have to bank on high profit margins per unit and the halo effect the Hyperion could have on its other models. The latter is particularly important. If the Hyperion can elevate the brand's status, it might lead to increased sales across Ford's range, thereby indirectly justifying the Hyperion's steep development costs. Jim Varney's unveiling of the Hyperion not only impacts Ford but also sends ripples across the broader automotive industry. Until now, traditional luxury automakers had the comfort of not worrying too much about the likes of Ford when it came to their supercar segments. Now, however, the lines are blurring, and the disruption can have far-reaching implications. If Ford successfully breaks into the luxury supercar market, it will force other automakers to reconsider their strategies. The fear won't just be about losing market share, it will also be about the potential rebranding of what it means to be a luxury or performance vehicle. Brands may find themselves needing to redefine what makes them special in a market where a mainstream automaker is successfully offering something comparable or even superior. To succeed in this audacious endeavor, Ford may likely look to form strategic partnerships that can expedite the Hyperion success. This could include collaborations with tech firms for enhancing autonomous driving features, partnerships with renewable energy companies for advancing its hybrid technologies, or even joining forces with luxury lifestyle brands to offer unique customer experiences. After the buzz of the unveiling settles, Ford will have a monumental task ahead. The Hyperion will have to go through rigorous testing, both by the company and independent reviewers. Given the expectations set by Farley and his team, anything less than extraordinary will be a letdown. The automotive world will watch each stage critically, from prototype testing to the first customer delivery. Meanwhile, the competition will not be sitting still. Whether it's through strategic leaks to the press or direct challenges on the racetrack, competitors will seek to reassert their positions and protect their territories. And that's precisely why Ford's launch of the Hyperion could be so impactful. It has the potential to ignite a new era of innovation and competition across the luxury automotive landscape. Thanks so much for watching till the end. Please like, comment and subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you never miss a video. Until next time, see you later.